What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So we have some um, exciting stuff going on. Not really. So I do have a story about Mr. Mojo. The title is No Lie. Mr. Mojo tried to run away with this. So earlier today I had to uh, run to the store. I'll get into this story later. But anyways, I had to leave and I'm going to throw up a video here in just a second. But we got something in the sky that's coming. I had no idea that was coming. It's super windy. But anyways, I'm gonna throw up a video right here. Mr. Mojo tried to run away on us. So there you go, you've seen the video caught on the security camera. Mr. Mojo decided he had enough of Hidden Heights Farm and he said, you know what, Dad? I'm not gonna deal with this hurricane, I'm running away. You didn't get very far, did you, buddy? Huh, what, did you think you're gonna run away from us? You can't leave us. I don't know what he was doing. Actually, <clears throat> so just a little bit ago, I got a warning on my phone, it said severe weather, blah, 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 within so many miles of your place. And then I look at the radar and I see all this on the radar. All this just popped up and then uh, I didn't really, uh, I didn't think about it, but Hurricane Barrel, Barrel, whatever the name is, is uh, spinning around uh, Texas and Oklahoma right now. And now we're getting these outlying fingers of it that's bringing all these crazy winds. And I guess it's gonna bring, uh, supposed to bring some rain, could be some severe rain, but uh, as you can see, it's getting pretty windy here. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to feed because after looking at the radar, it's only like four o'clock right now, but looking at the radar, uh, it's gonna be here a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and go feed. It's cool. The temperatures are, uh, it's 79 degrees right now, which is unheard of for July at this time. But back to my story, um, I kind of filled you guys in on the video, the last video I did where we ordered a new washing machine from Lowe's and they brought one from the scratch and dent deal, knocked off $500, hooked it up, tried to run a load of uh, clothes through it. It didn't work. Threw some errors, all kinds of stuff. Anyways called the manager of our local Lowe's. I said, hey, can I please just have a new washing machine? Can you come pick this one up and uh, bring us a new one and we'll pay full price, whatever, we gotta have it. Okay, no problem, I'll put in the order. I get a notification that the manager did that. Well, Lowe's came and uh, they came yesterday, picked up the new washer and did not bring a new one. So we didn't have one. So I had to make a trip to uh, Tulsa this morning to go to Hans Appliance where we bought our other appliances years ago when we first built the house. Awesome customer service, always have good experience with them. Um, anyways, I, I said, okay, I'm done with Lowe's and the appliance stuff, I don't know what's going on. Tried to get on Lowe's website to order another one, you know, where I can just go pick it up and stuff like that before I made a decision to go to Hans. They only carry two models in stock and within 150 miles of any Lowe's around us. So I was like, you know what, that's, that's ridiculous, I'm not dealing with it called Hans they had the same one in stock so ordered it online went and picked it up and I was back home in no time as I'm pulling up the driveway I see a white fluff of ball running down our driveway across our driveway into the woods and it was Mojo I get up there and I start yelling roll the window down I start yelling Mojo get home get home um, he's done this two times that I know of one time he did it um, an early morning when Rachel was taking the kids to school and for whatever reason, I seen him do it. So I was able to run outside and yell at him and get him back in the gate. Uh, for, you, for those of you that don't know, our property is completely fenced in. Um, we have a gate with a um, opener on it. So it's an automatic opener. It closes after you drive through it, it closes and all that. Well, you guys seen the video. Mojo decided to um, watch me very closely. And as I drove out the gate, Mr. Mojo waited till I was out of sight and he ran, he timed the gate closing just perfectly and he ran out and I was gone. Tulsa is an hour away from us. 
by the time I drive there, get the washer loaded and all that, it was about uh, two and a half hours that I was actually gone. So he was out and about for about two and a half hours. And the um, only thing I can figure out is he smelt coyotes or he smelt something that didn't belong. And uh, he was doing his job as security out patrolling. Um, the last time he did that, we got some coyotes the night before on our security camera. And I think that is where uh, Mojo, he smells them. And even though they're gone for hours, he, he still tries to go out there, mark his territory, chase them off, whatever he does. But anyways, we got him back home. Luckily, he didn't go down to the highway that I know of. He had two and a half hours to do so. But uh, the hurricane's coming now. So I don't know if he knew the hurricane was coming and he wanted to run away. <laughs> run away from it or not it's starting to sprinkle and i'm still gabbing my jaws so anyways that's the story of mojo now i got a curious cat keeps talking to me what you know mr smeagol say hi to everybody say hi give him sugars oh yeah that's good sugars all right you want to go feed with me all right we'll go we'll, we'll go try to feed like i said it's starting to uh sprinkle the winds are getting with it now hopefully uh i seen all the goats running back and forth they're not used to this hurricanes they're used to tornadoes and all that type of stuff. The hurricane's a little bit different. Um, we shouldn't get the severe stuff, but we could get some pretty high winds and uh, torrential rain, but we'll see. Let's grab some food. You ready to go feed? Come on, Smeagol, you can come with me. Rooster, what do you think you're doing? You keep trying to still feed out of the feed bin. We'll go check on little Sunny. Uh-oh, I'm feeling bigger raindrops. I cannot believe how fast this storm. So there's the washer. I got more of a story on the washer. There's Mr. Russell. There's the old washer, I might say. There's Mr. Russell, Leesky, and Miss Cora's coming. They said, yeah, Dad, go ahead and feed us because we want to eat and we don't want to deal with this uh, hurricane stuff, okay? He said, oh, I'll go ahead and eat, Dad. You can feed me anytime. All right, let me in there. Let me in there, guys. Come on, let's go eat. This hurricane stuff's weird, ain't it? Yeah, it's weird. All right, got you, got you three eggs. One of you's gonna get a cold egg. We got one out of the fridge. Here you go. Here, Russ, you want a cold egg? There you go, buddy. Here, Mr. Leesky. We gotta hurry, bud. That one's kind of scrambled. All right, y'all go ahead and eat. I gotta hurry up. So in the meantime of uh, Lowe's having to schedule our pickup on the broke washer, they said, well, it will be July 4th. I went through that whole spill in the last video. I'm not gonna get into that. So we had to wait several days, like four or five days to get them to come pick up the washer thinking they were bringing us a new one, which they didn't. So then it was an additional day before I could go pick up another washer. So I had to, in the meantime, we had to get some clean laundries. Rachel had to do laundry. So I had to hook up the old washer back in our house. And luckily it worked long enough where we crossed our fingers and it didn't even throw the air coat that it had been throwing. So we got a couple loads out of it and uh, we were back in business. But luckily, waspers, luckily we got the new washer from Hans and uh, it's hooked up and good to go. So no more washer problems, hopefully, right? You guys are lucky you don't wear clothes, you know that? Yeah. Y'all are lucky. All right, here we go. Feed time. Where's little Sonny at? There's little Sonny, look. Oh, he's gonna hop around. Uh-oh, sounds like it's raining now pretty good. I waited just long enough, didn't I? And now Mr. Mojo. Is not going to come and eat when I go feed the goats, of course. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. He might still come. I don't know. It's not. I don't hear no uh, thunder and lightning just yet, but it is starting to pour. Well, what a nice little family. Yeah. All right. You guys uh, take shelter in the barn because it's fixing to get wet, I think. Oh, boy. All right. I waited a little too long. Look, everybody's running for cover. So uh, I'll probably wait a little bit. I'm not gonna try to go feed out in this in case it does start lightning. Yeah, no, Smeagol, let's go back to the house, buddy. Look, Smeagol's behind me somewhere. 
No, don't run in the shop. Hey, come on. Let's run to the house. Let me put this bucket up. All right. Come on. So anyways, I'll go feed the other goats here in a little bit. I wanted to make this video to show you Mr. Uh, Mojo trying to sneak away like he did. Oh, Smeagol's got the right idea. He's actually running. I'm standing out here like a fool, getting uh, my new camera wet and getting poured on. But anyway, as soon as this dies down a little bit, we'll come back outside and uh, go finish our feeding. Talk a little bit more about Mojo and his shenanigans trying to escape. Look, you can hear them all yelling at me. Oh, it's cold. Hey, it's just rain. It's just rain. You don't have to hide your head. You don't like it, do you? Huh? I'll feed you here in just a little bit, okay? I'll feed you here in just a little bit. You okay? Huh? It'll be okay. I promise. It's just rain. It's just a little hurricane barrel. Okay? You've been through worse. It's just going to be a lot of wind and some rain. I don't even think there's any lightning or thunder going on. So, you can see the goats are all in the... Let's see if I can zoom in here. Here, the camera still works. It's got soaked. The goats all hit the barn. And then you got the emus. Just standing around doing their thing. They don't, the rain don't bother them no bit. And of course the geese, you know, it's not going to bother them as well. So anyways, I'm going to go back and uh, seek refuge in the house. And uh, wait for it to die down a little bit and check the radar. And then we'll come back out and feed. Now I'm starting to get wet underneath the uh, patio. It's really blowing. Look at this. Hopefully, if you guys are in the Houston area, you guys uh, didn't get too much of the damage and the rain that I saw on the news. It didn't look too good, but hopefully you guys are all doing okay down there. So, All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I think we're in the clear for just a little bit. We got a little bit of a uh, window. You can see I got my guard dog here. Not letting anybody in the front door. Mr. Skeeter's coming with me. Well, you know, Mo, you about tripped me, buddy. See, I told you that wasn't bad, was it? Oh, I wasn't scared. I was just resting my head under this chair because I was tired. Right? All right, well, if we're going to go feed. Do you want to come eat now? Well, I might wait till later if you don't care, but uh, uh, you can go ahead and leave my food up there on the post, and uh, maybe later if I feel like eating, we'll come eat, okay? Uh, I think it's going to storm in just a minute. All right, so you heard him. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try to feed. All the goats are still hiding in... The barns like they're they're not stupid you guys see them over there they're not stupid they know it's still sprinkling a little bit but uh we got a little bit of a window here i'll show you guys the clouds again this is really weird these these clouds come up real fast and they blew right through but man you guys seen the video it was uh pouring down and something i want to share with you guys real quick I'm gonna get the gabbing too much and not get it be able to feed again. We got a chicken that's been sitting on a nest right here for a couple weeks. Look at this. And I just heard some babies. Oh, there's some babies in here. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. You guys see them babies in there? A mama hen, another mama hen hatched some babies a couple days ago. Oh, can't see them. There you go, you can kind of see one, maybe. But she's hiding them in the grass because it's been storming and raining. I can't get a shot at them. I'll, I'll get them someday. But anyways, this old hen has been setting on a nest of eggs for a couple weeks, so they should be hatching any time. We'll just have to wait and see. Luckily, it's not hailing or getting real bad because she's just out in the middle of nowhere. These goofy chickens decide to just lay their eggs wherever and then uh when they get broody they'll just start laying on them whether they're out in the middle of the yard they're hidden somewhere or whatever they just want to have some babies sometimes so let me grab some more food and uh we'll see if we can't get mojo to come eat i don't think he's going to come because i just heard it start thundering all right we'll see if mr mo will even come i don't think he will it rained just enough to make some puddles, but, uh, you know, technically we do need the rain. The only bad thing about the rain is when it rains in July and August and 
even June when it's really hot, the, it's like steroids for the grass. It's like fertilizer. It greens everything up, makes it lush and nice in your yard, and you got to mow it just more frequently. But on the other hand, when you're a uh, farmer of remnant animals like cattle or goats, anything that eats grass and stuff like that, it's a blessing because it's free food pretty much. Chicken, what are you doing? You're getting your feathers all wet, girl. Mojo, come on, buddy. All right, let's see if the goats come. Yep, here they come. You guys can see them running. Come on, Mo. They said a little rain ain't gonna stop us. I was only in the house for like 10 minutes or so. Hey, Mr. Yoshi, what you know, buddy? Hey, you're not a stranger to the rain, are you? You don't care, do you? Mojo, come on, buddy. We got a clearing, I promise, I just checked. Mo, come on. So we got about a quarter inch of rain. Not bad. But there's gonna be more. I can, I can hear it in the distance and I can see it in the clouds. And if you look at the radar, this hurricane is just swirling all over the place. Hey ghost, what you know girl? She said, you got any of them good kibbles in there? Mojo! All right, are you gonna let me in there? Oh, Yoshi said, I'll take some of that. Here, ghost. You're spilling more than you're getting, Yoshi. All right, that's good. Here, geese. Here, Yoneg. That good stuff or what? She said, yeah, give me another bite, my mouthful. Mojo, come on, buddy. It's good stuff, ain't it, ghost? I don't mind if I do, she said. All right, so I don't think he's, I don't think Mr. Mojo is going to come. Mojo, come on, buddy. All right, get down, get down. Come on, I got to feed everybody. You can't just sit here and eat the whole bucket, girl. <clears throat> come on. Run to your places. Run to your places. All right, I'm gonna feed you on the ground because you got water in your feeder. There you go. How about that? All right. Let's see where Mr. Mo is. Yeah, he's in the exact same spot, just like I figured. Mojo! Come on, buddy! We can see you! He's got his head underneath that chair. He thinks he's hiding. Mojo, I can see you, bud! Oh, you got me, dad. Come on! Come eat! I got your food ready. I got you a nice fresh egg. Come on! It's just sprinkling barely, I promise. Come on, Mo! Come on, Mojo! He's a good boy. Come on! Okay, I'm wasting my time. He's not going to come. But anyways, uh, that video of Mojo running out, I called Rachel as I was coming home, coming up to drive. I seen the white fur ball, fur ball dash across me, dash across our driveway into the woods, into the other part of the woods. And I was like, that was Mojo. I called Rachel. I said, hey, uh, is there a reason Mojo might be out like you know, sometimes if something happened, like whatever reason, Rachel is going to look for goats or something. Maybe the fence, it, it did storm a little bit this morning and uh, the fence could have fell down on the, or the tree could have fell down on the fence or something like that. Who knows? But uh, anyways, I called her. I said, is there a reason Mojo might be out of the fence? She says, no, what do you mean? She, I said, he's out. Like he's down the driveway. So I said, you might come outside and start yelling for him. And uh, anyway, she came outside, I opened the gate. He came right behind me, he came back in. Like I said, he was out for two and a half hours and uh, we live by, you know, not too far from a very busy highway. We've actually had two dogs that have got hit in the past. And uh, anyways, one time uh, a few years ago, I had some uh, GPS collars for these dogs. Now they didn't work very good, so I quit using them. Uh, they did work for a little bit but then they kind of quit working the app was goofy and stuff anyways that was back when rachel was working and i was working the kids were at school anyways i get a notification i'm at work that our dogs are 
a long ways from the house and I'm like, ah, this thing must not be right. Anyways, I get it again and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go home and check. So get my truck, come home and check. And as soon as I get down on the highway a ways from our house, there goes Daisy and Mojo running right down the highway. And luckily I came home just at the right time because they were going the direction where we probably never would have found them. Um, they got callers and everything on, you guys know, but with our numbers and names on there, but still the busy highway is what worries me. They could easily get hit by a vehicle. So anyways, threw them in the vehicle, got them back home. Never had that happen again. But, uh, Mojo this morning, he, uh, he decided to make a run for it. So, uh, luckily I caught him while I seen him coming up the driveway. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys and, uh, tell you guys, hopefully, um, you guys are, uh, if you're in the path of this hurricane on down in the Texas coast and everything, hopefully you guys are okay. We're praying for all you guys. Um, leave us a comment down below. I know some of you guys need the rain on other parts of the United States. You know, the ones on the coast is the one that takes the most damage. Everyone else kind of gets to benefit from the rain and stuff. So I know how that kind of goes. We're getting the rain. We're not getting really anything else. So, uh, we're thankful for that anyways. But I do know some people have damage and stuff. I've already seen pictures and stuff on the news and everything. So uh, you're definitely in our thoughts and prayers for sure. So stay safe and uh, leave a comment down below uh, where you're from and if you guys are in drought. We were in drought until just a couple days ago. We got pretty good rain and uh, now things are green back up. Getting more rain again today. But leave a comment down below where you're from and uh, if you're in drought or are things looking good for you guys as far as the moisture goes. Ghost, what you know, girl? You were eating out of the bucket a while ago. There's Mr. Walt. Then we got a battle going on over here. What are you girls doing? Why are you, you're fighting over an empty bucket? There's nothing in the bucket, girls. Right? There's nothing in even in the bucket. Well, it looks like Mr. Mojo is not going to come. These clouds, man, I don't know. They're just popping up out of nowhere. Looks like we might get quite a bit of rain. I, I seen a window. I was in the house after I left you guys the first time. I was in the house for about 10 minutes. And uh, look like we have a clearing. I can hear it thunder in the distance now. So uh, I'm gonna get back. Cause I got a lightning warning on my phone too. It says lightning detected within 15 miles. And I don't want to play around with that. But uh, anyways, uh, come back outside after I looked at the radar and could determine there's a window. And we're in that window right at the moment. But I'm trying to see which way these uh, clouds are coming from. Normally here where we're at, the storms come from the west. And, uh, oh, there's more thunder. And these are coming from pretty much the south, which that's the direction of Texas from where we're at. So, don't know. We got Mojo's food up there on the post. We'll wait and see if he'll come out here in just a little bit. Maybe he'll come eat. I don't know. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, appreciate you guys clicking on this video. Try to keep it a little bit short. And I uh, wanted to share the adventures of Mojo with you. I had no idea what he had in his mind. But he was, uh, you guys seen, he he was uh, hightailing it to the gate. He knew he wanted out for some reason. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure he was going after a coyote or something that had come through not too too long ago and he smelt the scent of it and uh he who knows he i don't have a gps on him or anything now he may have chased the coyote for miles and miles and uh like i said i was gone for two and a half hours he might have just got back right when i got back dogs can travel a long distance in no time back when i had the gps collars on him we didn't have our perimeter fencing done he was pretty much free to come and go to our property as he pleased and he could leave our property and we had the trail cameras out and everything else that the coyotes would set it off. I'd get a notification on my phone in the middle of the night that Mojo had left our property. There was nothing I could do because he was at that time, he was already on all the neighbor's properties and he was going about 1.8 to 2.2 miles every night. There's an old Creek behind our house. And, uh, sometimes in the summertime and late fall, early fall, whatever, uh, it will actually dry up pretty much. And that's, where the deer and the coyotes and Mojo would travel every night. It's like he traveled that trail down that creek bed every night at the same time. And I'm guessing he just marked his territory and uh, that was good enough to hopefully keep the coyotes away. So 
I'm sure, you know, dogs are very smart. I'm sure when he got out, he probably hit that trail again. And uh, he probably went and marked all his old territories because they don't forget. And uh, luckily there's a lot of, there's a lot of property that way where there's no road. So uh, he can run a long ways that way and uh, not have the danger of getting hit by a vehicle. But uh, anyways, guys, I'll get off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Leave us a comment down below and we'll see you next time.